Oh my, oh my, oh! Okay! Oh my god, animation's going stupid! <laughs> Dude, that animation went... Oh! Yo, what's going on, boys? It's your boy Plasmic Reacts back with another reaction. Today, we're going to be reacting to some more Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. Uh, should we get into an arc? Uh, I don't know when this is going to be posted because as of recording this, I still haven't posted the reaction to the first two episodes since I went on my kind of like break slash, you know, I'm super busy right now. I can't really focus on YouTube. So, uh, but nonetheless, I'm recording this uh, so, like two, three days after this episode came out, and all I know is that shit is about to go down. Uh, we got, I believe his name is Chozo, I saw on Twitter, uh, after watching the last previous three episodes, uh, versus Itadori, and, um, I have no idea what's about to happen, but for some reason, I don't know who this motherfucker is, but he hates Itadori, and he wants to kill him that bad. I don't know why, he keeps on saying his family or something, so... Maybe Itadori killed, like, a curse that was his family off screen, or maybe it was someone that we've already seen on screen. Like, I have no idea, bro. Um, but nonetheless, I am ready to get into this shit, uh, and see what's popping. Oh, wait, I didn't even think about it. What if it's, like, Junpei's brother? Wait! How did I not put that together until now? Anyways, that would be crazy if that's what it is. Uh, because he keeps on saying his family and Itadori killed him, even though Mahito technically killed both of them. But, like, I don't know. Maybe that's right, maybe that's wrong. I don't know. That was just an early prediction because I kind of just pieced that together. I'm like, people Itadori is killed, and technically, by relation to Mahito, Junpei and his mom got killed. Um, but anyways, uh, that's just pre-thoughts going into this reaction. Can't wait to see what map has got cooked up. A lot of people said this is the best episode of the season so far, and a lot of people I've heard it thought it was bad compared to what the manga had. So, I don't really know what's about to happen, but I hope for God to your animation and see what MAPPA has been, uh, slave laboring from their, um, from their studio. And I can't wait to see what happens. And if you guys have enjoyed the previous reactions whenever they drop, and this one, then make sure to like and subscribe, uh, not really a goal to shoot for for the rest of the year for subscribers, but let's just see how many people we can join the Plasmic Reacts army, and I'll make a milestone for 1k for early next year. Probably not a maid outfit, because that was kind of above and beyond, but I'll have some kind of thing for 1k subs, so try and get me there. Uh, I don't know when we're going to get there, or what milestone is going to be set after the year starts, but hopefully we'll get smoother here going into 2024, as we have a lot of new series coming out in that in that span that are going to be a lot of bangers, a lot of bangers. Um, and yeah, really excited to get into this episode. Can't wait any further. So without further ado, let's hop straight into the shit. How do you do, Dory? It is. Are we flashing back a second? I guess so. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Dude. Inumaki! Let's go! Damn! Who? Oh, this is gonna be... Okay. Now we're picking up where we, where we left off last time. Dude, the symbolism. So I believe this guy's name is Chozo, if I'm correct. I'm not really sure what he's about, but... He uses blood manipulation, I know that much. Bro! My brother's killer. Yo! Oh! Yo! Piercing blood. Yo! 
Yo, dude, the animation's going crazy already. Double impact. Bro, that's gotta hurt. Oh, okay. These two motherfuckers. Bro. It's been a while since I've seen season one, guys. I'm pretty sure that's the one that they went crazy on towards the end of season one. If I'm not mistaken. But maybe I'm wrong. It's been a long time since I've seen season one. Oh, SC's going crazy. Oh my god. Yo, dude. Chozo's blood manipulation looks fucking fire. Yo! Oh my god! Oh. Oh my god. How'd you dodge that? Oh my god, dude. Itori's getting worked. Dude, how crazy are they going to go this episode? Bro, what is the... What is the plan here, Itadori? Dude, the animation's going crazy. Bro! This is just fire. Ooh! Supernova. Oh my god! Like fucking landmines? Oh! Ooh! Damn! Okay, Yuji. He's already at it again? Man, there must be a couple Chozo fans in the fucking Mappa studio, bro. Oh my god! He is looking menacing there. Damn, that instincts go crazy. Oh my god! It was like a pot breaking sound from like Damn. That's crazy, bro. Oh, did it loot the blood? Oh, well there goes Isidori's fucking thing. Oh! Shit! The water. Right. Science moment. Yep, this is your turf now, Itadori. Oh, we're already the box, bro. Here we go. Okay! Damn! Uh, animation's going crazy! On the roof? Oh! Oh my- Oh my- Oh! Okay! Oh my god! Animation's going stupid! Oh, we bite him. Oh, yeah. Get in there. Headbutt. Oh my god. Oh! Okay, Itadori! That kick was clean! Oh no, bro. What? How?
I have no idea what she's talking about, but I'm sure this is just saying, yeah. Woo! Oh my god! Dude, how is he doing this with a punctured liver? Oh my god, that hand! Oh my god! Woo! Oh, he blocked this time. Oh, he got distracted by the tooth? Oh my god, the OST is going stupid, guys. Do you hear this? Oh! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god, the Sakuga! Oh! Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, Itadori. Oh shit! Through every single fucking stall? <laughs> Dude, that animation went... Oh! God, bro! His fucking Wolverine claws? Dude, the animation is going crazy. This is some insane hand-to-hand -hand Sakuga right now, boys. Are we seeing this? Do you hear this OST? Bro! Dude! Oh my god! Not yet. He isn't expecting the left fist. Black flash it! No? Oh shit! Oh! Oh no! Chozo won? Oh my god. Oh. Well, Sakuna? Tag you in, bro? Hmm? My boy Sakuna. Not really my boy. Just first time we're seeing him this season, I think, right? Damn, this is so stylistic. Huh? What happened? This power backfire finally? Is that what the lady was talking about? I assume the lady was saying, basically saying, like, by doing what he was doing, he was basically making a risk that could cause him to have backlash. What's happening, bro? Memories flooded Chozo Man. That didn't exist? Huh? What? What is happening? Brother? What? 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 What is happening? What? Okay, there is an after credit scene. I thought that looked different. Okay, hopefully this might explain something in the last 30 seconds. Oh, it's these two. Let's get this started then. What, dude? What is happening? So, that episode was the entire fight. It was all that fight, which was glorious. Fucking insane animation. Some of the best hand-to-hand, -hand, like, fighting animation I've seen in a fucking long time. Holy shit, bro. They went crazy. Don't know what happened the last second with Chozo. No fucking idea. They're... He said memories that... The, the, the narrator said memories that didn't exist. And Chozo dreamed of Itadori at the table with his brothers, meaning that... And he said, you two brother. So, in this memory that doesn't exist, Itadori is his brother? 
Why? How? And what was the damage she suddenly accumulated? I'm assuming that was the backlash that she was talking about. That was basically saying, like, congregating his blood could lead to blah, 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 blah. It was a risk that he had to take because he viewed Itadori as, like, a real threat to his life. So, I imagine that that backlash was what the damage was. And somehow that made his memories weird. I have no fucking idea, dude. Half this arc doesn't make any fucking sense right now. It shit is just happening. It is crazy. It is fucking awesome. Um, but dude, holy shit. Animation went crazy from the beginning of the episode to the end. Itadori went crazy. Except he still lost. Um, yet again proving that... Bro, I don't know why people like Itadori yet. Maybe there's something coming still this arc. There's still like nine, eight episodes left or some bullshit. But I don't understand why people like Itadori. All he do has is has the dumbest power and then just loses. Like, I'm not I'm fine with Itadori. But no one can tell me that Itadori is better than Utah right now. Alright, Utah the GOAT. Alright, Utah is my is my ride or die. And right now Itadori is just that guy. He's just a guy. Like, he's he's doing some cool shit and he's strong, but it's like, I don't get why he's the protagonist yet. Like, maybe he has that dog in him later on in the manga. I don't know. Or maybe later on this arc. But right now, all he got going for him is Sukuna. You know, I'm just counting the, the, the fucking minutes until Sukuna comes out. Itadori, cool. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Itadori is a shit protagonist. I'm just saying, like, I care about more side characters in this show than I care about Itadori. So what what's Itadori doing here? All he's doing is losing until Sukuna take, get out, and then he wins. It's like, bro, What? Who knows? Maybe, maybe from this point on, Itadori gonna have that dog in him after he gets whatever happens to him after this fucking these girls find him. Nonetheless, really fucking cool episode. Really cool animation. Um, another L for Itadori. Count that on the L chain. And yeah, I don't know my so much else to say. Like and subscribe if you guys enjoy. Let's try and get this video to twenty likes. Uh, really fucking cool episode. Can't wait to see more about Shozo uh, before he probably inevitably dies in whatever's about to fucking happen. Because everybody seems to be fucking dying in this arc, bro. Um, please don't kill. Please don't kill anybody else, bro. God, I, I can't take it. Oh, God, here we go. Anyways, cool fucking arc so far. Really enjoy everything that's happening in this episode and the previous ones. If you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys whenever I post the next reaction for JJK. Peace.